Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Sky Knight. Welcome back to Bearable and Still Beautiful. Uh, tonight, let's talk about an easy way to kind of apply an overall style to your system. Kind of an easy way to manage, you know, fonts, uh, the actual themes, the the colors of everything. Let's install Alex Appearance. Before we get too far into it, uh, the drink of the night, again, we're going to go with Highland Park 12, the Viking honor. Uh, as I said, it's, it's my favorite. I really don't want to put it back on the shelf. Uh, so let's just finish it tonight. All right, let's get into it. Uh, here we are back in our Debian virtual machine. Uh, first things first, let's take a look at uh, kind of the defaults for what we have right now. Let's just open up PC Man FM. Uh, so you see, it's a light theme. It's kind of ugly, kind of gnomish, uh, you know, icons, the colors and everything. Uh, I just, I don't like it. It's, uh, it's not pleasing to my eyes. Uh, so first thing that we want to install, uh, let's install LX Appearance. So in Debian, and I'm pretty sure on really any distribution, uh, it should be called the same thing. It, it's part of the LXDE uh, desktop environment, but you can get this as a standalone application, and it's pretty great. Uh, so let's do sudo apt install LX appearance. Right, and you see that it basically just brings in the GTK engines, and that's it. It's a really lightweight uh application uh, again this is specifically more kind of tailored to uh, gtk application theming uh, which can sometimes be you know a little difficult with the uh you know having built on the gnome toolkit but you know th this works pretty well and if you're trying to match some uh, cute apps they you'd probably be able to find something similar in here all right well let's open it up All right, and you see here that we have a way to customize our widgets, way to colorize our, I guess, default color scheme. We have icon themes. Uh, looks like right now we only have two installed. That's very Windowsy. I don't know how I feel about that one either. I guess I like it a hell of a lot better than this one, but not the best. Uh, no really mouse co cursors. Let's get some things installed. Uh, first, let's look for a cursor. Uh, there is one that I am actually quite fond of. It's the uh, it's in the oxygen package, I guess. I'm, I'm not sure what you would call it. Uh, we, can, we can find it in apt. Uh, sudo apt install oxygen. If I spelled install correctly. Install oxygen. Oxygen cursors. You know, let's see what the icon theme looks like as well. Okay, and I believe these are going to need to, I'm just going to have to reopen this. Close that there, open it back up. Okay, icon theme. I don't really like that either. However, oxygen yellow. I've always really, I've always really liked this yellow one. It just seems, it's, it's super easy to find on your screen. Uh, really any of the, well, probably not gray. Green would probably be good. Ooh, I do like emerald. Even the word emerald is just, it sounds fancy as hell, doesn't it? Emerald. Uh, but we're gonna stick with yellow. Wonton soup? What the f- It's just black and gray? Okay, yeah, sticking with yellow. And I believe for that to take effect over pre-existing windows, you need to close and open them up again. Yep, and you'll see my cursor has changed to a, a yellow... Oh, I don't even know what that's called. A yellow this thing. 
Uh, next thing, looks look for some different icon themes. And uh, with apt, the uh, predictive help is actually super useful. So let's do sudo apt install. And a nice way that you can search for packages that might exist is with an asterisk. So we want anything with the word, oh, theme in it. Dot theme. Interesting. I wonder if that was a ZSH plugin that I had used for that in the past. Okay, and I figured it out. It was uh, the way that I initially set up ZSH. It wasn't configured to actually um, do any completion. Uh, the, the globs weren't set up. Uh, so I reran it, or reran the new user config. Uh, it changed everything to this. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll uh, just leave a link to the the Git or the GitLab repo uh, for this, if anyone is actually interested in pulling it down or following along or whatever the whatever you really want to do with it. Okay, but now we can get back to what we were doing. So sudo apt install anything that has the word theme in it, and I think we have a way to. Sure. Arc. Let's see if there's any of these that I recognize. Breeze, I know they have some good um, uh, dark themes. So, that's... We have Arc, Breeze, Breeze Icon, Dark Blood, uh, Monokai, Emerald, Oxygen Icon, Obsidian Icon, Papyrus icon, sugar icon, and sugar theme. So, ten, 11, 11 themes and all. Uh, let's see what they look like. Okay. Those all got installed. Let's open up LX Appearance again. Okay, now we have quite a few more widget. Uh, arc, dark, arc. How is this darker? That's weird. It's so a breeze dark. That's it's almost. I like this arc dark actually quite a bit. I, I'm not crazy about the uh, the way it. I mean, it's got an edgy name, but it's not not ugly. Yep, that's uh that's a bit much. And these sugar ones, I, I don't know. Um, but let's go with, I think I want to go with Arc Dark, actually. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't mind that at all. So let's apply that. And that is our color scheme. Icon themes. Let's look through these. Breeze Dark is all right. Papyrus doesn't seem to have a difference between Papyrus and Papyrus Dark, unless I'm missing something. It's very, that's the Windows one. Obsidian? No. Oh, I guess they have different colors for all the Obsidian ones. Oxygen? I'm um, not crazy about. Papyrus. Yeah, are these the same as e-papyrus? Yes, I don't... They are. I don't, I don't... I don't... I don't get that. Oh, these sugar icons are not the ones... Oh, no, I'm thinking candy. I'm thinking the uh, candy ones from... Uh, like a lot of uh, KDE styles have like a, a candy icon theme, and it's I think it's horrid. Absolutely horrid. Um, I guess as far as like the actual files, like icons themselves, this is the least 
shit to me. Um, so let's look for a color that looks nice. Especially something with its dark theme. The cyan's not bad. Gray is not. I I, I kind of like how the gray kind of blends in there. No. I don't know what the difference is between those two. Green, not bad. Mint, no, thank you. Red, that's aggressive. It's very aggressive. Sand, they kind of look like manila folders with sand. That's kind of interesting. I think I'm going to go with gray. Is that boring to go with gray? I'm going to go with gray. I don't care. Um, okay, we're going to apply that. Oh, no, not install. Apply that. Uh, we have our mouse cursor. Yep, we're doing all that with our font. Okay. Let's hop over to here and open up PC Man FM. That looks much less crap to me. I enjoy this. I enjoy looking at this much more than, uh, than I did previously. And actually... I don't like how this always takes up how it's tiled. I would much rather have it be uh, floating, which I think is super S. Have it be floating? Yeah, super S. So let's actually uh, go in uh, to our BSPM, BSPWMRC and change that. Open up a... Oh. Close that. So let's go vim.config bs config bspwmrc and we're going to want to add a rule for this. Uh, so bspc rule a I'm not sure if that means always. I'm not I'm not entirely sure what the uh, the significance of the dash a is. Uh, but we want actually we need to find out what the name of this uh, this is so oh what is it um x prop yeah so if you didn't know you can type x prop um into as a uh, it, it's a application i guess uh so x prop it should come with if it doesn't come with base like x server i imagine it should come with a base x server uh, if it doesn't, I'm sure it's some utility package you can install. I think we had to do like X11 server utilities to get XRander, so it might be in there as well. But yeah, type in XProp, your cursor changes to a, uh, a little plus sign. You hover, you go over to the window that you want to find out like what the name of it is. Click on it. And you can find here the Window Manager class PCMan FM. And it just so happens that that is what this is looking for PC man FM and I, the spelling is uh, it is case sensitive for this so yeah I, I could have just figured it out by just doing PC man FM lowercase and then trying uppercase it, it would work uh, but we want this state to be floating because I don't want to have it uh, just always be over everything or take up you know, valuable space, because I'm not going to be in it very often anyway. Uh, anyway, so let's restart our BSPWM with Super Shift R and see if that worked. Yep, and here we go. You can drag the window around by holding Super and just left click. Uh, you can resize by holding Super and Kind of clicking and dragging with your right click. Yeah, I like this. This is uh, much, much nicer to me now. All right, cool. That's uh, that's what I wanted to do tonight. Uh, it took a little longer than I initially anticipated, mainly getting the my ZSH uh, configuration sorted out so that I could properly do the, I believe, globbing is what they call it. Um, but... Almost finished it. Uh, anyway, thank y'all for hanging out with me. I'm Sky Knight. See you later.